Ogilans, who belongs to the Florida Panthers, was able to fly here last night. He looked stiff, and, and it looked like his back was a little sore in warm-up. But when he gets his game going, he's a defenseman that we can term a rover. He can fly all over the ice. He can join the rush. If Latvia needs some goals, they can get it from this guy, the defenseman. And this will really add to their team. And they've already won a game in this tournament. The pressure is really on Slovakia. They were a team expected to move out of this round and on. But if they do not win this game, they are probably not going anywhere. Monday on Business Center, the road to Oscar gold, paved by buzz and money on the eve of the Oscar. The Olympics don't last very long, so must win games can come very early, and that's the case for Slovakia. Latvia coming in with a 4-2 win over Austria, and it was now Hobas who put the win on in that game, and he starts again. And at the other end, Pavel Rebar, kind of a surprise because again he starts. He's not supposedly the number one goaltender. Our referee for today's game, Alf Rediger. We'll have Sergei Kulikov and Sergei Shelyanin, who are the linesmen for this game. We are underway. It'll be Slovakia in the blue score! First shot of the game. Yesterday's game, Latvia gave up goals early. Stumpel uses a screen of Ozelinch and beats the goaltender to the glove hand side. Stumpel was pulled into the Boston Bruin general manager's office, Mike O'Connell, and O'Connell said, you know what? We're going to let you go play in the Olympics. He lit up like a Christmas tree. Here he is, first shift, first shot scores. The home house on the left side, up and over, and it is a 1-0 lead. Joseph Stumpel, one of the additions that we showed you, playing Slovakia in this must-win game, and that didn't take long. At break at the other end, Martensko, centering pass deflected away. Defenseman playing out in front, able to knock it away, and Latvia, they're going to have to stand up straight early in this one because Slovakia clearly has has come out with a house of fire. Opsud off the fire side boards got hit. Held in by Latvia. Latvia in white. Captain back in behind the net. Lost it. Played up onto the point. Strastich was there. The shot just deflected in front. Opportunity to Vilinch, who's their leading scorer, who was down in front that time. Nailed by Opsud. And Slovakia looks like a different team early. They're very aggressive. They're taking the body. They're skating well. 11 seconds into the game, Stumpel gets his second all-time Olympic goal. Lintner and Visnovsky pick up the assist. He almost intercepted on a dangerous pass right through the top of the crease. Back on the attack, Marteschko. Marteschko had to take it away up the near side boards, but if Eris able to clear it out, they'll go back behind the net and start there. Tavius off the far side. Good pressure put on Slovakia. They do not clear the zone. That'll be whistled on the offside. Well, that very first shift, the goal by Stumpel. Ozelinch was the defenseman. This is his first shift of the tournament. He got caught standing still, screening the goaltender. So Slovakia needed something going, and they got it. Osboot, number five. Whoa, baby. Aggressive in these deep, big corners. 15 feet wider is the ice surface. And that was a good way to take the body. It'll be Joseph Stumble back out and won that faceoff back. One 2-2 uh, system used early by Latvia here as they sent one four checker in this big ice surface. Keep in mind, it is uh, 15 feet wider in Olympic play than you see in the National Hockey League. So uh -huh. defense, they drop back. This Latvian team is an old Russian-style team. They play puck possession. They don't throw the puck and dump it in. And the had the opportunity up ice. It'll be knocked away. Barry and Hosa will get an opportunity for the blue Slovak team in this game. Well, Hosa coming out from Ottawa. Gary, that shot on Rebar, the goaltender of Slovakia, he looked really nervous. He juggled the puck. Uh, and behind the net, that is Hosa, number 81 in blue. Hosa doing battle, getting up off the ice. Bob Lukowski had fallen down, cleared back into the middle. Hosa chance, that got deflected by the defenseman. Marian Hosa's first opportunity. Latvia trying to change it up. Slovakia wants to as well. Hosa will dump it in, and they'll come over the boards. Played back in behind the net. Both teams waiting on the changes to be completed. Bravusas got it out. Down low in the corner. Peter Schmerk played it around the near side. Stepping up. Sennis knocked it away. Couldn't hold it in, though, for Team White. 
Latvia. Latvia will get it back at center ice. Sent in. Sergei Sentence sends it back in behind the net. Pavel Reba, who had uh, 16 shots on goal against him in uh, the win, 14 saves that he picked up in the 3 0 shutout. Slovakia lost to Germany in that game. Uh, obviously, the big upset so far. They wave off Benny Eisen. Labinch came back in behind the net, left it near side. Semyon Vlas had it, lost it to the near side. Slovakia on the pickup with it. Barteško, Barteško waiting top of the circle right there. Dished it off instead of taking the shot. Well, and a save made on a good hard shot. Robert Petrovicki. Well, this Slovak team showing how badly they want this game. They have to win to move along in the tournament. Good glove hand save, as you see here. By Naumaus, who's a very close friend to Arthur Zerbe, who would be the starting goaltender for this Latvian team, but Urbe won't be here till tomorrow. That was the shot by Ru that on the goaltender Rebar. He had a lot of trouble handling that puck. Looked a little awkward, looked a little nervous. Urbe, not the only goaltender that might have been playing for Latvia. As John said, he will play against Germany here on Tuesday. Peter Skudra, who plays with Vancouver, was another player that Latvia might have had, but uh, Vancouver not willing to let him go. Nevertheless, they came away with a win in game one. Remember, only two teams in the of the eight who are playing in this preliminary round will move on in Olympic play. Fireside, Pavlikoski was over to get it. These European teams like to drop back into their own zone to start offense, but not that way, as that one got poke checked away and deep into the end. Is Sheetney with it? Richard Sheeney is a very fine stick handler. Just dumped that one in long. It'll be taken back in behind the net again. Provuslis went back to get it. Loose at center. Defenseman three back in blue for Slovakia as they cover up on Dean. Get a turnover to Hosa. Hosa had it poke checked away. Came back to get it. Sent it for Petrovici, but it was intercepted. Three on three the other way. Up ice. Sorokins. That one intercepted near side, cleared up the boards by Richard Lintner, and uh, through center. They'll wave off the icing again. Big Joseph Stumpo looks sharp early. His line just finishing a shift. Remember, he has the goal. The center ice red line does not come into play for two line passes. There's no such thing in this form of international hockey. So you'll see a lot of long passing, Gary. A lot of long passing, and uh, they will hang guys back to try and get it up ice in a hurry. Bartesko off the near side. Left it back behind him on the drop pass that time for Pavel Dimitra. So you got Dimitra, Barteshko, Hosa, all have been a big part in this game early. And that's what we were talking about. You saw Latvia and White, a guy all the way back at the other blue line, waiting for that pass. That one's touched up, so there'll be no icing on this either. When we first started playing against teams from the Soviet Union before they broke up their countries, we were not used to the long bomb pass up the middle as players. You're seeing it here again. This Latvian team is trying those long bomb passes. This is a team that averages 31 years of age and love the old Russian style of hockey. Shitney had it on the far side, lost it. It's held in. Shitney looking to drop, dead shot. That one wristed high. Good opportunity, Pavel Dimitra. Pressure put on for Dimitra in front. Knocked away defensively to the point. Save made. Shitney trying to jam it home, and there's no room. Chevrolet sponsors the 2002 U.S. Olympic team all year long, and it shows. Hey, good job. All right, just zoom right in on Chevy. Yes. Yeah, oh, 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 that's great. Chevy, day in, day out, we'll be there. There's going to be a whistle in a moment here, a delayed call. It's going to be coming up against Chicknia and uh, extra skater out for Latvia into the corner. Still no whistle. Looking for that jam shot in front. It deflects away, and then the whistle blows. Robiger, Alf Robiger, the referee, making the call, and we'll get our first power play of the game. It's a hooking call as the Latvian team was trying to move up ice. The hook was made, and Latvia will have the power play. This is a team that needs something here to tie it up. There's the hook right into the midsection. On Belovatsky. And here's the power 
play opportunity. First one we have had in this game. 617 was the time of the call. 629 into this first period. So an opportunity for Latvia to get that goal back that Stumble put up. Power play chance. Near side open net. Score! It's 1-1. One, one. The Atosla Fandos. scores the key was Ozilich at the left point a lazy neutral zone hooking penalty sets up the power play that's Ozilich beautiful diagonal pass there you see the goal scored you know this Latvian team has also oh boy he didn't exactly finish that where he should have finished it did he but he got it in Fanduel scores it's 1-1 on the power play great pass by Ozilich Fanduel gets his second goal of this Olympics he had one in game one chance for a comeback that one deflected and covered what a Opportunity for Lobos Vitesko as yeah. he went in on a backhand chance. The Atlanta, fa Atlanta fa Thrasher player moved in with speed and real aggressive goaltending by Neumos. He used the goal stick to poke it away and find the puck before it slipped under him. Beautiful pass by Petrovicki. And there's the poke with the goal stick. Marvelous play to read it like that. Petrovicki's had a great shot that the goaltender caught. And there he set up the chance by Bartetsko. Goaltender's getting tested. And as you mentioned earlier, uh, J.D., Pavel Rebar in net, in blue for Slovakia. He misplayed that last uh, goal that went in off the power play by wandering way out of the net. It just looks a little nervous at the start. He, he really game. does, and it's interesting that he's even playing. Ozilich got the assist, 639 on the power play goal. Fandul is picking up uh, the power play. It's his second Olympic goal ever, and he's picked up two in the two games that he's played in here. Back to the other way, Tom Davis trying to dump it back into the middle. That one deflected back to the top of the circle. And they are catching uh, Slovakia running around a little bit right now. Latvia is. Dump back out the center. Latvia in blue. Gonna make a line change here. They're not gonna get it done right they now. Have an injured player. And offside. Leading out late, the injured man. Brown makes me feel powerful. Brown lets me be everywhere all at once. Brown software connects me to my suppliers. It connects me to my customers. Brown brings me my raw materials. Brown delivers my finished goods. I trust Brown. Other colors may be cute, but they don't call you back. Making business more efficient. What can Brown do for you? On the shot of Ozilich that went in wide, the rebound went all the way to the other end of the ice. Provosas came back to get it. We've got a 1-1 game here, and there goes the helmet on a stick up in the air. There was no call. That could easily have been a high sticking call. That was Majeski who's now going to get the puck with a big hit. Vito Lynch, number 20, a centerman, is on the bench and injured with a leg injury. Out of base. Chance score! Look a little shaky, a blue line goal. Gary again, it was also Lynch who made the great play for the power play goal, but he has screened his goaltender twice for goals that have gone high to the catching glove sides. Side, just look at him. Right up over the hand, top corner, good shot. But Ozilinch either has to get out of the way or move closer to the shooter. The goaltender's having trouble seeing the puck coming past his body. It's now 2-1 Slovakia. The goaltender's out a long way. Just a great shot through the screen. 2-1 Slovakia. Jan Padove, six years on the national team, picking up the goal and giving his team the 2-1 lead. Mercy, he gets his first of this Olympics. Played back uh, second, brother, as the pressure's put on defensively here on the forecheck. Latvia able to move it out. No question again in this game, as was true against Germany, that Slovakia has the better of the individual talent. The question again is, are they going to be able to put it together as a team? And will their goaltending hold up? Will their goaltending hold up? Because once again, they're up against the club in Latvia that primarily is made up of Latvian league players who have an opportunity to work as a national team year after year. Off the near side wall, good scrum to get it back through center ice. Little hold up at center and Marion Hosa. You know, you're right, this Latvian team, as we said, averages 31 years of age. So these guys have been, in fact, some of them are thinking of retiring after these, these Olympics. You have a lot of guys who played five, six, yeah. seven more years together. 8.23, Padova gets the goal. Majewski oh. picking up the assist. Ozilich is on the ice again. He's been on for two against. He made the great play for the power play goal. He's probably wondering what's hit him here. <laughs> 
Zandis Ozilich and the pace of these games as you'll note it is fast. They have the face off rule where you get 15 seconds after a stoppage. The puck is then dropped whether you're in the face off dot or not. So these games tend to fly. Robert Petrovicki had it on the far side left it at the point poke checked away and that creates the offside. Boy, catch our breath there is the player Vito Lynch still injured he was injured down way deep in the corner of the Slovakian zone. He was the fly carrier for the country on the opening ceremonies J.D. He's their captain. He's their heart and soul. Talking to Arthur Zerbe today the fine goaltender with the Carolina Hurricanes. He is so much of this Latvian team. He was saying that Vito Lynch is without a doubt. The heart and soul of their team. Boy, there's a big save down low on a turnover. Created right in front of the net. Majewski had the opportunity for Slovakia. Fine save by the 33 year old netminder who has uh, given up a couple of the rising shots. Has made a couple of nice saves on those that have been done along the ice. It'll be chased back. Pavlikoski. We got Pavlikoski back in his own end. They set up the 2-2 uh, defense. Latvia was changing anyway, getting people on the ice. Sersic takes it back in behind the net. Slovakia seeing a completely different style team. Yesterday, Germany got the lead and sat back with four guys across the blue line. Today, or tonight with this game, Latvia plays a completely different style. A little more aggressive. They trap deeper. They're, they're more of a puck handling team. Germany likes to throw it deep. They want to open it up. Latvia does, and uh, they're playing against the team. Slovakia would love to play that way, in fact. On the muscle in, Joseph Stumpel, who's got the goal, number 15 in blue, got tied up behind the net, and that had taken away. Kirsch will move it out. Alexander Kirsch got it up to the blue line. There, Hosa just drives it back into his own zone to start from there. Petrovski on the near side. Both checked away from him. And it's still up in the air at center. Petrovski had reached in. Hosa there will pick up the loose puck. Marion Hosa, 21 goals, 22 assists for Ottawa this year, playing at a plus eight. That will be held on to for the whistle. To the one, Slovakia. Come on, boys. Breakfast is ready. Good morning, Grandma. Good morning, Timmy. I'm Tommy. Oh, sorry, Tommy. Now dig in. Your mom said to get a good, healthy breakfast. Where's that brother of yours, anyway? I'll go get him. Hey, Tommy, let me out! Introducing Minute Maid Blends with new orange strawberry banana and orange cranberry. Flavors even kids can't resist. I wonder if Tommy wants more juice. And Latvia's tied it again. Guess who was in on the goal? Sanders also <laughs> He Three. went in on all four. We're 2-2. Two, two. Look at the moves. He'll curl over the blue line, drop it back for the slap shot. And the Slovakian goaltender had it go off the toe of his skate and underneath that part of his pad. A bad goal. Shouldn't be able to score from that far out. It skipped, maybe deflected, but still. We're tied at two, and also is in on everything. Nezhevis is an eight-year pro uh, from Russia who puts that one home. Latvia, of course, before the Soviet Union broke up, was part of that union. They are playing in the Olympics for the first time in over 60 Isn't years. Something? Here's another look at the goal. Does it get deflected? Is it a screen? No, he just blew it. The goaltender should have had that one. By the way, the person who scored the, the sevens, he's the Wayne Gretzky of their team. Real good puck handler. That time he showed he could shoot the puck. We got we a, penalty a penalty right off the faceoff. 11:45. Nishevas picks up the goal, his first in Olympic play. Ozilinch picked up the assist. So Ozilinch has got two assists and two screens so, <laughs> so far in the game. Majeski in the penalty box, and Latvia will go on the power play. They're second. Well, we talk about Olympic shootouts. This could be one of them. Oh, baby. Before we get to an overtime. Yeah. And here's the power play specialist. Maybe, that's why they call them maybe a rover. He's all over the place. Chance on a save made. That will be hung on to. Martinsons. Andres Martinsons with the opportunity. And these goaltenders have really got to try and get it settled in here. Majewski at 12 10 on the holding the stick call. Yeah, you'll see right in the corner here. He's got a hold of the stick, and the referee makes the good call. And the power play opportunity. This is the second of the game. 
Latvia having to come uh, back into their own end. Power play goal has already been scored by Latvia in this game. Fandul's got the power play goal the first time around. They were one for six, Latvia was, in their first game of the power play. They are one for one in this one. They'll set up four men down low, trying to move over to Fandul's off the near side. Forwards have got to hustle back. Hosa short-handed, ran it through the middle. Hosa skating well. He missed the game for Ottawa two games ago with a bad knee. Our Tensons will work in the high slot area. They can get somebody set up. The box set up by the four-man shorthanded unit of Slovakia. You can see Latvia is trying to move that puck and move that box. Force those men in blue to spread out a little bit here. They're not doing it, though. They're keeping that puck on the perimeter, and that's where you want it. It's 15 feet in wider ice surface. If you get caught out of position, you're in big trouble. If you go over to the boards as a penalty killer, there's too much room in front of the net. So they stay tight and quiet and got the job done. Shot got blocked and deflected back down to 34 seconds remaining on the power play for Latvia. Slovakia in the, their first game gave up one power play goal in eight chances in the game that they lost three nothing. Back in behind the net, Peter Schmerk came back to get it, left it near side. Offsuit tried to clear it up and off the dasher and up, never got anywhere near getting it out of the zone. Good break there. Zephyrus is on the near side boards. Power play still underway. Ten left to go on it. Centering pass got deflected and uh, it will be cleared out this time. Back comes Pavel Dimitra. Dimitra of the St. Louis Blues. Barteshko in front trying to set a straight up shot block. Penalty is over. We're back to five on five. So one for two for Latvia on the power play in this game. Both teams trying to get their five man units back out there. And that's how the teams play in the Olympics as they do in most of Europe. Five man units. That rising shot was up and over. Ignatiev took it twice actually. First one blocked, the second one he missed the net. Drop pass, roll back to center ice, and off the boards it'll be a two on three the other way. Now three on three, near side, little opening shot, and a big save kicked away. Tom Davis had the opportunity, and that one got knocked down. Back out with it is Chickney again. He heads to the net. A lot of room in the high slot area. Oh, backhand chance on his knees, block, penalty coming, puck will come to center. Pavlikovsky had the opportunity, it'll be a Extra man on the ice because Latvia is going to touch this puck before the penalty is called. They actually are supposed to control it. So a delay call here. Extra skater is out for Slovakia. Now it will be touched up for the whistle. Power play when we come back. In a world of opportunity, how do you find a financial advisor who's right for you? Do you want one who works for the oldest company or the youngest? Do you want one with the fastest growing company or the most deeply rooted in tradition? Or do you simply want one who listens to you like you are the only investor in the world? Raymond James, you first. Slovakia gets the power play opportunity. They went 0 for 4 in game one. This is their first power play chance and it'll look like an NHL opportunity here with the players they've got. Petrovisti out there, Stumpel, Hosa. Stumpel has already got uh, one of the goals up on the board. Littner playing one of the points, Stumpel along the half wall. Now you see Latvia drop back into that box trying to tighten it up. It'll be Hosa playing uh, right at the top of the crease. Lintner will play here and on the near side blue takes the shot glove save held on to well, two goals to the high catching glove side they tried to make it three but this time Naumos was able to hang on and force his face off the last face off Hosa for the Slovakian team or team Slovak wasn't ready for the face off with these quick face offs here's another look at that high shot glove hand side this time he's able to make the save. Omov's got it off. Sue with a top of the circle chance save. That was down low, rattled off one pad, then the other, and cleared. That's a good low shot from the point. A chance of a rebound at least. Yeah, that's right. Kicked out very deep. Power play's got a minute left to go. Game tied at 2 2. We've got a little under four minutes to go in the period. Barteshko. Barteshko sends it around the far side. Didn't have anybody over there, and that'll be cleared out of the zone by Cyprus. Barteshko got nailed. Ignatius really rode him hard into the corner. We have seen some yeah. real strong checking going on in this preliminary round. Big blast, Pavel Dimitra, save made. That'll be kicked out again. 
Now in the game yesterday, Latvia won. The goaltender, Naumos, let a couple of bad angle goals in and then just caught on with his game. He started to move out of the crease a little more and really got aggressive and got the job done. Will he do that again in this one? Naumos is the goaltender in white, 33 years old. His first Olympics, however, and uh, getting his second game in. Power play, down to five seconds for Slovakia in blue. They got to hustle it up ice to get another chance. Littner moves it all the way into the corner. Down on the ice, power play over, and we are back to five on five. Three shots on that power play opportunity for Slovakia, but they do not score, and it remains a 2-2 game. Back to get it, Joseph Stumpel. Eight goals, 33 assists with Boston. Playing at a plus 18. That will be sent too far, and an icing call. There's the veteran goaltender we were talking about in white. And there's Joseph Stumpel. I think he's... Just thrilled to be here and their team. Now, again, you're allowed a 20 player roster for this preliminary round to plus your goaltender. So they now have fused 19 different players, hoping that they can win this game and then bring in Peter Bondra from the Washington Capitals. And he's a fantastic goal scorer. They feel they need goals. Well, Ziggy Palfi was here for Slovakia yesterday. They weren't going to play him. They fell behind. They played Palfi. They, they called and said, can we use him again for another game? And the answer was no. Well, the promise was one game only. The fact was, though, he sat for half a game, only played eight minutes. So Palfi was here, didn't play one game. He played a half. So Palfi is gone. Brought it back up. Zipper said it. Poke checked away. If Palfi played today, he would have played five games in five days. Including tomorrow. Including tomorrow. Tomorrow when Los Angeles plays Dallas and Paul Fee, of course belongs to the Los Angeles Kings. That's a lot of hockey five and five yep. and uh, not healthy for the team that you belong to. He owes a lot to the Kings. So he is not here. Miroslav Shatan as we mentioned is another uh, not playing in this game. Hans Zeus yet another chance shot just missed up and over the net. That was close. Alexander's Kirsch breaking through the middle found a little room and there seems to be some room in that slot area against Slovakia that Latvia is taking advantage of. Hopsu will drop that one back. Slovakia back on the attack. Peter Smirk clears it in. Bouncing puck chased to the corner. Ignatiev came back to get it. Lost it. Played by Dimitra. Dimitra got it in front. Marteshko falling down. Batted it up in the air. And Latvia will move it out of the zone. Latvia back. 2-2. The score less than two to go. And another penalty coming. Hooking call. Hooking call. Petrovski is going to get it. Yeah. He doesn't look happy, but if he had the luxury of looking at a replay, he'd understand. I mean, the hook was right in there. He just pulled the Latvian player right backwards and down. Maybe he's saying, hey, not much of a hook, but it sure looked like the player went down hard. And now another power play for this Latvian team, who again goes with Ozilinch on the point. Peter Schnozny, the man on the right, really feels that his team tried yesterday. They played it. At altitude, he has new players in again that if they win this one, they can still find a way to force a three-way tie at the top of this bracket, and then it's goals for and against. But you know what happened, Gary, yesterday? That empty net goal against may hurt them if it gets to that point where you're looking at goals for and against. Yep. If it becomes a three-team tie at the top of the bracket. You need to score goals if there's a tiebreaker that goes into play with two or more teams being tied. Goal differential matters, and then if it goes beyond that, total goals can matter. So you want to score all you can in these games. Littner in, chance held on to, with uh, 29 seconds left to go in this first period. Power play is underway, third of the game. Quick change again by this Slovak team, going with just the three lines. What's he going up? with four? Why does he have a tape on the front? There? He must be covering up an insignia well, of another insignia team. of another team, and he, with the Olympic rules, you can't do that. Good old masking tape, <laughs> either at home or at work. It always comes in handy. <laughs> As Red Green says, no man's a man without masking tape. That one dumped in off the right wing side. It'll get whistled in the offside call here. Another player for Latvia has gone to the locker room is Skrastic. About five minutes ago, he was turned on the bench and reaching down. He plays for Nashville. And I was wondering if he was just replacing a skate or had a skate or equipment problem, but he's gone to the locker room. It may be an equipment problem since it's so late in the period, but we'll have to find out. Varteshko getting a chance here in the final 30 seconds and to rip that one wide. Lubo Varteshko. Here's a four on three the other way. Glove save held on to. 
as Slovakia in the final seconds gives up the odd man rush and Alexander's Kirsch with the opportunity. This this Latvia team they don't mind shooting any opportunity they get it's just going against the goaltender rebar and why not he's having a lot of problems here in the game nice little play by Kirch and the Kirch will join the play right here and get the high shot headed for the crossbar. Stumpel and Vardave have picked up the goals for Slovakia. Fandus and Chavez have them for Latvia. There's nothing easy when you get to the Olympics. And these teams who are heavily favored like Slovakia are finding that out. 2-2. Two, two. The shots are 10-7 in favor of Slovakia. This is called the East Center for entertainment. Ooh, it is 2-2. Two, two. Weekdays, CNBC's new afternoon lineup. 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern, it's Power Lunch with Bill Griffith and Michelle Caruso Cabrera. Then at 3 Eastern, Closing Bell with Maria Bartiromo. And at 4, Maria is joined by Tyler Matheson. 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern, it's Business Center with Ron and Sana and Sue Herrera. Weekdays on CNBC. It's very tunnel vision, and you try to just erase the noise. I'm going to go out there and play my game, not theirs comes down to mental uh, toughness and, and really the mindset and not let anything get in your way. NHL Center Rights from Direct TV. Catch up to 35 games a week, plus select first and second round Stanley Cup playoff games, all for just $109. Another look at the spectacular Olympic cauldron atop Rice Eccles Stadium on the campus of the University of Utah. We are about seven miles away at the East Center, where at the first intermission it's Latvia 2, Slovakia 2. Wildest period of hockey we've seen so far. And Bill Clement, the Slovaks came out with the expected sense of urgency, but couldn't fend the Latvians off. Well, the story within the story very quickly became Sandus Ozilinch. We know he's a high wire act and he was everywhere in the first period. We have some new technology too. It's called Total View Technology and naturally we're going to feature Sandus Ozilinch in this because he was such a big part of the first period. 11 seconds in, looked like an innocent three on three with Slovakia attacking. And you can see that Latvia looked like they had pretty good coverage. If you look over to the right, Coverage there, okay, pretty good coverage. Look over to the other side, and Latvia even had double coverage on that man. So that left Stumpel against Ozilinch one-on-one. -on -one. No problem, right? Wrong. Naumov's perfect. He's in great position. But Ozilinch ended up screening a little bit, and as Stumpel launched this rocket, you'll notice that Naumov's, when we go back to him, is even further out of his crease, cutting down the angle. But a perfect shot by Stumpel combined with the screen from Ozilinch, and 11 seconds in, Slovakia was on the board. Now we'll show you Sandus Ozilinch again. This was on a power play for Latvia. And you never want to double cover in front. Here's what happened. You've got one guy covering in front for Slovakia. But you can see two Latvians there. The other defenseman makes a mistake and goes into a man-to-man -man mode. Here he is right here. He bunches in front, so you've got a two-on-two -two in front. What that leaves is a giant seam for Sandus Ozilinch to find his guy wide open on the other side. And Sandus Ozilinch never misses offensively. Misses sometimes defensively but never misses offensively. So Sandus Ozilinch is worth the price of admission here in Salt Lake City because he's such a high wire act. Yes, he'll leave you vulnerable defensively, but he'll get some back for you too. Four-time National Hockey League All-Star, a big figure in the game. And incidentally, surely you can hear the lively crowd at home. The Slovak fans are chanting, Slovensko do to ho. It means Slovakia, go, go, go. Want to try it, Bill? Sure. We'll be back. NBC's coverage of the 19th Olympic Winter Games is brought to you by Chevy. The cars you can depend on. The cars that last. We'll be there. By Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. And by the Principal Financial Group. We understand what you're working for. Our views from above the 19th Olympic Winter Games are brought to you by Goodyear, which reminds you to take all of life's journeys on the wings of Goodyear. Welcome back to Hockey Central. Bill Clement just described to you moments ago Sandus Ozilinch's pervasive presence in the first period of this game. The Florida Panthers player must have fun describing life in Miami to his friends in Riga. Let's see what he has to say about the game to our Darren Pang. Sandus, an exciting period. You, you, you're on for two goals for, you're on for two goals against. A lot of offense, huh? Yeah, I'm getting abused there. <laughs> I mean, uh, the players are telling me uh, that they should start playing too. I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, definitely uh, 
wild game on there so far and uh, very exciting, very fast paced. It seems like you're starting to shoot the puck a little bit more as this period went on. Uh, well, we had a couple of power plays and that uh, we, we had control of the puck more and uh, I think that uh, our goal in the power plays is just to shoot the puck and see what happens. Uh, good luck, big boy. Thanks. Thank you. Slovakia is trying to revive its fortunes with a win here. Latvia, if it can beat Slovakia, sets itself up to play Germany Tuesday for a pass into the next round. The drama heightens. We come back right after these messages on CNBC. This is a CNBC in-game... One of the themes of the Salt Lake opening ceremony, fire on ice. Slovakia fired away for two slap shot goals in the first period, but couldn't thwart the icy resolve of the Latvians, who came back both times to tie. 2-2, two -two. we'll be back for the second period. Latvia and the Slovaks are tied at 2-2, and the fans are having a heck of a good time. This is how we got there. Joseph Stumpel, 11 seconds in. Fondles on a power play goal at 639. Part of A at 823 made it to the one. Tied up at 1145. And that's how we will start this second period with a power play continuing. 56 seconds left on the Slovak penalty. Latvia with the advantage. Latvia goes again with Ozilinch on the point on the power play. That was a pretty good tool that the guys in the studio used. Huh? Like that shot? Sure, yeah, that all that over the... I don't know what it was called. I can't remember, but it was pretty good. When you were a goaltender, it would have helped to have that kind of view, wouldn't it? Huh? No, because... Yeah, total view. Total called. view, yeah. They, you could see everything. No, they would have seen too much of what we did do right. I didn't need that. <laughs> all right, we're underway here in the second period. 38 seconds left on the Latvia power play. Latvia in white. And they've got the puck in the offensive zone. Dump back in behind the net by Kirsch. We'll keep an eye here in front of the net. Nobody there. They don't set anybody up in this power play in front. Pope checked away. Shorthanded opportunity at the other end. Hose has been out on the penalty killing unit. Brought it up by, shut it down, and then just dumped it back in behind the net. And they've got 14 left to go in the opportunity for Latvia. Latvia looking at the three-man defensive wall set up by the Slovaks. Intercepted. Shorthanded Dimitra. Intercepted. Oh. If that had gone through, Sandy's Ozilinch back the other way. Ozilinch made the intercept. Ozilinch trying to set it up. Power play is over. And we are back to even strength five on five. Ozilinch, bad pass. Opportunity the other end. Pavel Dimitra. And Dimitra. Save me. Kick back in behind the net. Rebounded off the goaltender's stick. Sandus Oslinch is going to be involved in every goal and every play of this game. <laughs> it was his <laughs> pass that resulted yeah, in that chance. But that was after he broke up the breakaway pass to Dimitra. Yeah. Went around the ice, gave it up to Dimitra this time, got the breakaway, but couldn't score. Dimitra is hanging back at the blue line, in fact, but that one's going to be kicked back in behind the net. Pavel Riba in net for Slovakia. They must win this game to keep their hopes alive of uh, moving beyond this preliminary round and Dimitra brings it in offside. Oselich. Oh, is this guy right to watch or what? Man, alive. Billy Clement during the intermission called him a high wire act and this is all in one play, folks. In his own zone, he reaches. Oh, this is as he got the puck, moves it across. This time, Dimitra slingshots right by him and then a good save by the goaltender. Wow. Oh, amazing. Back in, short and a chance. What a save. Kicked out. Uh, Umaz with an outstanding play as he was caught to the right side and came back on the short side post to knock it away. Lynchney, number 42, tried to wrap around and the left foot got there. So one goaltender of the two has settled in. And both had rocky starts in that first period. Majewski's pass intercepted, turned back up ice. Nisevez has got one of the goals. Sepres takes the chance. Went wide, right through the top of the crease, rebounded all the way back. These boards have some real action on them. You'll note on some of the shots and passes that go off the boards that they rebound a long way. That one in the seats. So we talk about goaltending. You're looking at Naumos. Same style as yesterday. Gave up two goals, then settled in. He's given up two goals in this game. And here's the wraparound try, and it looked like it was a slam dunk, but that left skate jammed up against the post. Look at the left side. 
There it is. He gets it there. I mean, I thought it was in, Gary. But he, he got the foot there the last second and made one huge save. All right, JD. I thought he almost had to draw that back from yeah. inside the net after it had crossed the line. So that get with another chance off the intercept. Shot deflected up and into the seats. Darren Pang with us down at ice level. Darren. Yeah, thanks very much, Gary. You guys were talking about Riga Latvian-born goaltender Archer Zerbe of the Carolina Hurricanes. There is no prouder athlete from there than Archer's, and he was stung by the fact that he was only going to back up in game one. He will arrive tomorrow morning at 6.40 so that he can practice. The thing about Archer Zerbe is he took care of the Latvian team, fellas. He bought six cell phones to make sure the management team could afford to have that, had them set up, and flown in from Carolina to help out with their cause, and yet he did not play game one. May not play at all. Yeah, he's coming tomorrow morning, though, and he wants to be here to be able to practice with the team. He purchased a lot of tape for them, all kinds of things. You'll never find a more patriotic person in the world than Archer Zerbe regarding his country of Latvia. And Urbe hoping Latvia obviously can get one here. Marion Hosa and the Ottawa Senators picks that one up and moves it back to the red line. Tried to dump it in. Pretty good shot oh, put on over there. Baby. Semyonovs put that hit on. Injured player. the ice uh, the player who got squashed over there and got back on the bench he's got a little headache going right now I think yes he he got banged right up along the boards shoved backwards well the forearm was right into the jaw was oh, that this is uh, the ZB's who caught him I think with the forearm right to the jaw pretty good hit Skrasic is back in the game, by the way. We kept an eye on him out of Nashville. He did come back. Dimitra's chance, and that's going to be deflected to the far side corner. Pavel Dimitra was open, and he used the defenseman as a screen. Swung back deep behind the net. Petrovsky, Dimitra, they've been working together on this line. Schmerk will have to play that one back. The pass ended up coming outside the blue line. Here in game two, each of these teams involved in the round robin. There are eight up ice on side. Blasted wide. Belovsky's had the opportunity and nobody was on him, but he didn't get the shot on net. That one redirected back to the far side corner. Skrastich was the man. He takes it back in behind the net. Skrastich looking to center. They're dropping everybody down low. Shot the deflected save into the corner. That was Alexander's Kirsch who had the opportunity. The defenseman of Latvia moving in and playing some offense. Dimitra triple squeezed on that one as he tried to move through. Lavinch moved it out. They are trying to open up at center. Cypress chance that deflected to the far side. Pavel Rebar getting tested here. The goaltender in blue. And Latvia holds it in again. Chance. Take it. Score! And again, the goaltender screened. Did you see some of that nice passing? That was a Picasso, man. That was beautiful. The person had the puck in a high slot. He moved it over to the boards. Watch this. Beautiful, beautiful shot here. Top corner, far side. Pachevsky through the screen of what would have been. He found some open ice as Rebar had dropped down. Gorgeous goal. You're going to see a goaltending change for the Slovaks. Stick side, 3 2 Latvia. Slovak. The Slovak team fully understand they can't lose. So they now make a goaltending change. Alexander Masayevsky puts that one home. The goaltender change. They'll take as long as they can get away with here. And this is the man we thought we would see anyway in this game. Yeah, we were quite surprised that Rebar started. He did not have a strong game yesterday. I'll tell you, Gary, they had the puck in the high slot. Instead of a shot, he moved the puck back to the far side, to the boards almost, before Machevsky then was able to move in and score. It was a remarkable play. That's the old Russian style making that extra pass that you don't think will be made. And the pressure continues to mount for Slovakia, the team in blue. Marian Hosa shot that one wide. No warm up for the goaltenders who come in during the game. So Jan Lasek, who plays with the Admirals in Milwaukee, 
is 7 13 and 2 playing in the minor leagues in the States. He is now in net in blue for Slovakia. The goal coming at 5.02. Masayaski here's Holza. Marian Holza scores! That's that long pass. You're allowed to make the long pass the center ice red line watch this gorgeous pass by Stumple man I was all the way almost to the blue line and did he make it look easy soon as the goaltender reached with his stick the puck was put right through the legs of Hosa here comes the poke check there it is through the legs Gary when you reach as a goaltender with your stick you can't move your feet and Hosa just saw that read it with an instant and tied the game up to three. No, Omas oh. giving up that one. 35 seconds was the time of the lead for Latvia. 35 seconds after they led 3-2. Marian Hosa ties it up at 3-3. Vitesko playing it in the corner. We are six minutes and a few seconds into this second period. And the goaltenders continue to be the ones getting pummeled here by these two teams. 537, Hosa's first Olympic goal, and Stumple picks up the assist. So Stumple's got a goal and an assist, and we're going to get a power play here on the penalty call. A holding the stick penalty called for the second time in this game. Another look at the Hosa goal. See the goaltender reach. Man, it's hard to close the legs when you're reaching. He guessed it. The goaltender, now Umas and Marion Hosa, a fine player with the Ottawa Senators of the NHL, who actually played last night. The previous game, he couldn't play because of a bad knee. Power play opportunity. Slovakia will get the opportunity to get the lead in this game now as they've tied it up at 3 3. This is going to be their second power play of the game. They did not convert on the first. They did get three shots off the power play on that first chance. Petroviki will be out there. Lentner setting a little pick. Stump will let it poke checked away. And short handed. Latvia will just try and rag it back a little bit here. Finally dumping it in behind the net. So Slovakia on the power play there in blue. That's Littner who took that check. We were looking at him on the bench. Obviously, he's all right. Right back out there. Petrovsky stumpled up front with Marian Hosa. That'll be whistled as the puck was hit with a high stick, a stick above the shoulders. And the Slovaks make a quick change. The five-man unit they had on the ice has been out there together as a unit a lot, including Hosa, Stumple, and Pavla Omsky. So they now make a change and come back with Petrovitsky, their number 39, the centerman. Those are two high quality centermen for the Slovaks. Robert Peskovsky won the draw. Dimitra working the near side blue line. Latvia stays back. Shot right through the legs, underneath. It pinballed, and there's the whistle. Now there's a save where it went right between the legs, pad to pad. If you were a pinball player, you'd be proud of that move, but as a goalie, you'd rather it not happen. The only thing you could do as a goalie is not panic, and he didn't. He just slowly got the legs together. Man, one, two, three, four deflections all the way in by the time the puck settled. Oh, this would be a good look. Oh, man, was that close. He really likes to come out and cut the angles down, doesn't he? He's a little more aggressive than he was early in games, but I think it becomes part of his game regarding confidence. He gets a little more confidence as the game moves along. Omas, the 34-year-old netminder out there in white for Latvia. Power play still underway here. 49 seconds and a penalty coming. And that may be on Latvia. It is. Coming up, a two-man advantage. Uh, after Dad's stroke, he had to go into a nursing home. Well, it was okay. It was nearby. Yeah, but it wasn't like home. Yeah. After a couple of months, we could bring him here and take care of him. He likes it better here. Right, Dad? Food's better. Flexible benefits for ongoing care from Mutual of Omaha. Social life is not much. Helping families take care of one another for over 90 years. Three power play for Slovakia in blue. A two-man advantage. 32 seconds left on the first penalty. Biznowski on top. Wide open chance. Blasted wide and rebounded all the way to center. That's Slitner who took it. And that's what you hate to have happen. You don't get it on net. You give the short-handed team a real break when you miss the net. Because that puck comes all the way out of the zone. Biznowski. Biznowski drops it. Host is set up in front. Back to Viznovsky. Dimitra playing near side wants it and got it. Back to Viznovsky. He uh, was on the non shooting side. Takes it and scores! It comes. 
Williams with one second left on the first penalty. So the power play is going to continue. And that will continue for a minute 15. This is a wild game. Five on three. Vishnovsky just lets it rip. Deflected in front with Big Yosef Stumpel standing there. Number 15, the Boston Bruins centerman. Good low shot. Past the goaltender to Umos. And it's 4 3. Slovakia. That is a power play on a two man advantage. We'll wait for the official call. Vesnowski, the shots, it clearly went off somebody. And if it was Stumpel, obviously he'll get credit for the goal. Now the power play continues for another minute 14. They are crediting Vesnowski with the goal for the moment at 8 13. Power play, though, is now a five on four. What a break right there for Slovakia to get that with one second left on the original penalty. Chased in the corner. Semyonov couldn't get it out. Blast to the save off Dimitra. Read well by the goaltender who moved right to left on that one. Omas facing a lot of tough shots here on these power play opportunities. Near side, Dimitra ran it up the wall. Oops, could not hold it in. Oops, shoot. We talked earlier about when you get your penalty killers over on the boards, you're in trouble. Now, all four of the penalty killers for Latvia were on the right side, and Dimitri just waited by himself, and it took the goaltender to make a good save, or it would have been another power play goal. Slovakia leading it now by a score of four to three. Their power play still underway with 20 seconds left. Dimitra got the assist on the Viznovsky goal. Viznovsky's first Olympic goal ever. Dimitra's another chance. Waits, takes it, missed the net. Rebound. Petrovsky couldn't get the shot. It hit the side of the net. Yeah, they're holding up for a celebration, but there's no goal. And there's a scrum. Oh, baby. The referee said no goal. If you get into a fight in Olympic play, you are gone. They said no goal. There is video replay. They may be able to tell from the overhead view. The linesmen do a good job here. There will be some calls. Peter Smrek, I think, who's headed to the bench, will go along with Bolavsky, number nine. He's the Igor Larionov of this Latvian team, an older player who's highly skilled and been around for a long time. Dimitris shot wide. This puck never got to the front of the net. Now it does. Was it in? The referee was on the left side near the goal line in a perfect position. I think he may have been shoved in late, Gary, the goaltender who's on top of the puck. Here's the overhead view. You can't see if it's in or not. The referee says no, and then he got shoved into the net. And they are saying no goal. So it remains a 4-3 lead for Slovakia. Eight seconds to go on the power play. That's Kurt Lindstrom, the coach who's from Sweden of this Latvian team. He's 61 years of age. He's been coaching 40 years. He's coached in five different countries. That's called experience. That's the Roger Nielsen. It, that is. Power play is over. Slovakia got one on the two-man advantage, and they lead it 4-3. So Latvia's got it back to a five-on-five. Five. They send it back. That's a common play right there. You dump it back to your goaltender, and then he starts to move up ice, but not when he's got different colors in front of him. The go-ahead goal, we didn't know if Stumpel deflected it or Vishnovsky got it. He takes the point shot. What does it hit? There's the ankle of the Latvia defenseman. That was Ignatius, and it went off of him. Ignatius was standing in front and redirected that thing. May have gone in any way, but that certainly helped the cause. Part of a run it all the way up from behind the net. Part of a takes a beating over there for doing so. Provincis was all over him. Slovakia is all over uh, here as they are really getting some chances. Slovakia keeping it out in front of the net. They're getting high percentage shots. They're out shooting Latvia 19 to 10 right now and have the 4 3 lead in this must win game for Slovakia in blue. Shots are just really becoming quality shots by the Slovak team. And I thought they might be depressed after Germany won the game. Looks like it fired them up this afternoon. Yeah, I thought with Germany winning their game over Austria, making them 2 0 in the pool in this division, that they may go, oh, and just slump a little. Instead, they've come out and really worked. Maybe the addition of the players who did not play in that game has helped that cause, uh, like Hosa. And Dimitra looks very good, too, as does Stumpel. Yep, Stumpel's played a strong game. 
Matching minor penalties, by the way, so there's no power play opportunity coming off the unsportsmanlike calls. Dimitra and uh, Balavas picked up the uh, penalties. Viznoski down the middle actually got a little backhanded shot off, but it went wide of the net. Latvia and White able to clear it up the near side. They're having trouble now making any offensive moves. Stumple trying to pick it up, able to poke check it away. Good play by Stumple to free it up. Shot goes back in behind the net. Robert Petrovski wearing the C out there in blue. And both teams will use the opportunity to change. 11-20 into period number two. Second game for each oh of these teams. Slovakia got it offside. Whistled. We'll be right back. You think you're so big, but you're not that big. You're not even that tall. What, 9,000 feet? You probably got pushed around by the other mountains on the playground when you were in mountain school. After today, you're going to want to run home to your mama, who's a little hill somewhere, and your daddy, a pile of rocks. What's that I hear? Are you afraid? Whatever it takes for the athletes to win, all it takes for you is Visa, the only card accepted at the Olympic Winter Games. Latvia wins the faceoff, starts it up ice, deflected away again. Petrovski moves it into the zone. That got poke checked away. 2 1 2 the other way with it. Fandus has got a goal number eight, the trailer on this. Taken deep behind the net, can't do anything with it. Paris just played it up the near side boards. They'll start back behind the net. Nope, that's not going to work either. Lasik clears around the other way. Don Lasik, who's come into play, Pavel Rebar out of the game. Slovakia now with the lead and the new goaltender. Point shot taken and a save made. Another power play coming up for the Slovaks. Remember the player that had the puck go off his leg and in the net, the go-ahead goal? That's him. And he just went over and threw a big high hit. He's gone to the penalty box. It's high-sticking or elbowing. So Slovak, the Slovaks have a chance to take a two-goal lead here. The strategy that was not carried out in the well, first game. You know what I think has happened? I think uh, Vito Lynch, number 20, the captain for Latvia, has gone with a leg injury. He's the heart and soul of the team, and I think it's affected their psyche. I really do. The Slovaks have taken over since he got injured. Now a very big chance here in this power play to get a two-goal lead. It's their fourth power play of the game. They have one power play goal. Penalty is, in fact, an elbowing call. And the shorthand is suppressed, moves it in, deflected towards the middle, not far enough to do much with it. Stumple out on the power play. Joseph Stumple moves it up, Petrovicki on his right. Stumple will try and set it up in the middle. Viznovsky working at the top on the power play. 1 2 2 power play, the umbrella. Viznovsky shot wide. Sometimes I think these wide shots are intentional because the boards have such live action. The rebound comes right out front of the well, net. So if you're going to take a shot, there's a man in the shooting lane. Miss him. Yeah. So shoot it a little bit wide and hope for the rebound off the backboard. Seen a lot of that take place here in this period. Petrovsky gets tied up and held onto it long enough to keep it in. Marian Hosa in the corner. Hosa will have to play it behind the net. Nobody in front on the power play. Set up by Slovakia. Now Petrovicki will move into that slot area and get down low with it as they try and move that box back towards the goaltender. Hosa got it out in front. Score! Petrovicki right there. Beautiful tip. Was that a pass? Oh, baby. A lot of slow box in the crowd, and they celebrate. Hosa's pass wasn't on his stick blade for more than a split second. Right now. Off the stick blade in front, top corner by Petrovicki. That's how you score a power play goal. Watch the release of this second pass right there. Beautiful. Oh, what a gorgeous play. Top corner, 5-3 in favor of the Slovaks. They've scored two power play goals here in the second. And Latvia, their psyche, you could sense, has drooped a little bit. Petrovicki getting the goal. That's called tic-tac goal right there. <laughs> it only takes about one second for all of that to occur. And the two-goal lead is on the board. They get it on their 21st shot of the game. They've now doubled the shots against Latvia, 21 to 10. As Slovakia trying to get their first win here in game two. Shots 11-3 here in the second period with, for the Latvians. Of course, some of that on the power play, but they're controlling the tempo of everything. Here's a penalty. That's a bad penalty. And it'll be touched here by the man who's going to get the penalty. Chinney picks it up in the corner and he's going to go for two. That's the second penalty he's taken in this game. 
He reached out with a stick in the neutral zone. Kurtz, as you see, had the stick between his legs and went right up over off the diving board. So Latvia needs something here. You know, their their player we were talking about, their captain gone with the injury, Vito Lynch, he's a third generation player for Latvia. His grandfather actually went to the Russian part of the Soviet Union and taught them how to play hockey. That's how much hockey is in their family, and he's now gone with the injury that has to really hurt them. Lost their captain, their man who carried the flag in for Latvia at the opening ceremonies. And now you gotta dig down, find some room here, find somebody else. And a goal right here to get it back to one would be very important at this part of the game. Latvia and White on the power play unit. Ozelinch on top. That one went wide. Played in the corner. Ozelinch will work on top again. Shot save. Rebound. There is one. But it came loose. Peter Smirk was there and clear. Machetsky was near the net. He kicked the puck free. Remember this goaltender in net. Klaschuk, he replaced Rebar. He hasn't had any work at all. That was the first shot he has seen. Fourth, and he kicked it out. He did. Fourth power play opportunity of the game for Latvia. Good kick in to hold it in. Fondules has got a goal. Number eight on the far side. Ozilin towards the near side now as they try and free him up away from the puck. He's cutting to the net. Pass to it. Great save made. Jan Lasek. Second save and it came on Ozilin. That was some save considering he's off the bench. He hasn't seen any work. And he comes up huge. The coaches made a smart move, finally making the goaltending change. Uh, Jan Lasek in net. He's had a very good year despite a record less than 500 with Milwaukee. He's had good goals against and save percentage. He's down on the ice. Lasek trying to get it back into the middle. Now trying to find his stick in net. He's got it. He was down on the ice, lost his stick, but through all of that, never got a shot. Chance off the blocker to the near side. 19 left on the advantage. Held in. Strastic back in behind the net, dropped it off. Golovsky's, Golovsky's left it up. Strastic's had a poke checked away. Stumples got it. Short-handed, they move it out with six left. Slovakia with a short-handed chance. Hosa off the blocker. Stumple over together. Stumple. Team Latvia went with four forwards in the power play. They had Van Deuce, number eight, playing the point. It nearly worked for them, but you know they need goals badly. Power play is over. They got three shots on that power play opportunity, but could not convert. Sorokins takes it back in behind the net. Under four minutes left to go. Second period. Slovakia up by two, five, three. At center ice, loose off the far side wall and just tagged in by Partave. Played in behind the net. A couple of four checkers up here, putting the heat on Latvia. Ignatiev cleared it into the middle. Goes by everybody in an icing call. If it crosses the line, no, no, they wave it off. Had the arm up, then the officials decided no. Blast deflected in front with the save made. Ignatiev from the near side point shot blocked back to the middle. Hanging around the boards for it. Pat Mikoski, who blocked it, dug it out. Loose pocket center ice chased down. Vladivers moved it up. Yanov's in the corner with it. Latvia would love to get one here in the final three minutes of this second period to make it a one goal game. Loose off the near side boards this time. Ozilinch still out there. Ozilinch poke checked away from him and into the middle. And Latvia was changing. Almost got caught in the change. They won't, though. As the puck got tied up at the blue line. Played back by Cyprus. And here's Cyprus. He'll move it in himself and head to the net. Down the middle. Still loose on the poke check. Yashevyas, who picked up a goal, leads it. Ozilinch cutting. Trying to get it on the stick. Did. Still loose side of the net. Underneath the goaltender. Problem. Nature has an answer. Ethanol, a cleaner burning fuel made from corn. It helps the air. It helps the farmers. And if we need more, we grow it. ADM, the nature of what's to come. A 5-3 game. Slovakia on top. Slovakia with the puck. Martashko dropped it into the middle. Poke checked into the corner. Golovskis able to deflect that pass. Slovakia able to hold it in though. Down low to Lubos Barteshko. Barteshko looking. Drops it back to Smirk on the point. He fell down two on one the other way. This is Latvia's big chance. Two on one. Pierce up. Looking. Waiting. 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 Dropped it. Shot. And a deflection by the defenseman. 
Smack. That was by Smack who gave the puck away to start the play. Here's a three on one the other way. Dimitra scores! Pavel Dimitra! He's folding home. It's a long distance call, isn't it? You know, the old Soviet style is hold on to the puck, make the perfect play. The Latvians tried it with a two-on-one and waited, waited, waited. Smack had trouble with the puck. Now watch the two-on-one develop. Wait, 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 wait. Kurtz waits, 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 waits. Now Smack is back, blocks the shot. Down goes the Slovaks. Dimitra will get the goal as he turns and fires top corner. That's the way you finish. And the St. Louis Blue has his team up by three. It could have been a tighter game had the two-on-one worked for Latvia, but it didn't. They never even got the shot. Big chance. And Alexander Skirsch, the man who held on to that puck and held on to it, is one of their fine star players. Lindner just fanned on it as the puck stuck behind him on that chance. Minute 15 left to go here in the second period. Four unanswered goals have been scored by Slovakia to take the 6-3 lead all coming after the goaltender change centering pass just deflected wide Pavlikovsky Pavlikovsky had net to shoot at but a defenseman able to bump it away from him Cypress types that one into the side of the net and Jan Lasek in net has made a couple of big saves and the offense has come alive for Slovakia since he came into this game. Well, Slovakia had it in their mind that the big game for them in this prelim round was against Latvia. They didn't pay enough attention to Germany and Germany knocked them off. Dimitra's goal at 18-20. Petrovski picked up the assist. Petrovski got the goal at 13-20. Dimitra, Petrovski, Biznovski, and Hosa all picking up their first Olympic goals of this Olympics. Remember Kurtz who held on to the puck and held on to the puck. I'm looking at my notes and said he likes to hold on to the puck. Hey, you're well, right. He followed his game, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and he wishes he hadn't, I think. Oh, gosh. Masayevsky waiting out in front. No return pass to him. Centered with D. Cutting score! Huge goal for Latvia. Masayevsky makes it 6-4. Four. four seconds left in the second period. It gives them some hope. Everybody rushed down the ice for the team in white Latvia. They knew the clock was going to expire, so why not? Head to the net and see what happens. That's what happens right through the legs. And this Latvian team gets a big goal. They're only down by two with a third period ahead. That's two goals in the period for him, J.D. Masayevsky picked the one up at 5.02 for Latvia that started the second, and he gets the one in 1956, which will finish the period. So 10 goals combined for these two teams. Lasik finally coming in as the replacement goaltender, even though he's supposed to be their starter. Sandis Ozilic, you had an opportunity. Lasik came up with a very important save on that one. The goal, 1956. Ozilinch an assist. Masayevsky picked up the goal just to make it interesting. We will go to the third period. Slovakia six and Latvia four. Weekdays, CNBC's new morning. In downtown Salt Lake City on another gorgeous night in the Salt Lake Valley. Day three of the 19th Olympic Winter Games, day two of preliminary hockey, and the wildest period we've seen so far. What an explosion. Six goals scored there in the period. Bill, before the game, you talked to me about the need for Slovakia to play with a sense of controlled desperation. And if ever we've seen that, it was there in that second period. They've done that so far, Jim, but I think it was a move that their coach, Jan Filch, made. Uh, by pulling the goalie rebar and putting in uh, Lasik that really shook these guys, woke them up, and got them started. And then uh, after that, they uh, they tied the score at 3-3, exploded to go up 6-3, and now the final goal by Latvia sets up a fascinating third period with Slovakia playing with a short bench. Well, Slovakia is playing with a really short bench, and, and that really means that they're going to have to play smart with the lead. But every time Latvia has gotten close to them, Slovakia now has been able to torque it up. We'll see if they've got enough energy to torque it up again in the third if Latvia all, gets close. Talked about all the National Hockey League players available to Slovakia. The talent showed up in that period. Didn't Absolutely. I mean, the same number of NHLers in the lineup tonight, but a different result, different cast. Four goals and four assists for the NHLers. Brilliant stuff. How could you not be a hockey fan?
One of the Slovakian stars not available to the team yesterday is St. Louis Blues forward Pavel Dimitra. Arrived today, the two-time National Hockey League All-Star did. He's got a goal and an assist in this wild game. He's with Darren Pang. Let's hear from him. Pavel Dimitro, this looks more like an all-star game. I know you're desperate for offense, but that's a whole bunch out there. I know. This is like a very exciting game for me. Like, I never play something like that. And, uh, you know, so far we're playing great game. And uh, that was a tough goal, you know, last four seconds in the game, second period. And, uh, you know, we just now we just have to focus more on defense. Since you made the goaltending change, though, your team really, really uh, rebounded from that. Oh, for sure. You know, we got a great, great team here. And uh, everybody just working so hard. And, uh, you know, it's always nice to play my, for my country and see guys working that hard. Goals for goals against. You got to score a lot more goals than you give up, partners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Like, you know, we, uh, I got a couple of chances, and uh, Robert Petrovic can make a great pass to me, and I got empty net. But, uh, you know, I got like for another four goals. But uh, I hope so. We're just going to work hard, play good defense, and uh, we're going to win the game. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. Olympic debut for Dimitri. He's made an impact on the game after arriving today, as has Marion Hosa of the Ottawa Senators, another late arrival. They've had a different character today, Bill. They really have. And in the third period, Pavel Dimitri has got to be a leader. He's got to be a defensive leader. That does not come naturally to Dimitri. The other thing that Slovakia has to do is manage their bench very well. They've only got three units of five players. Third period. Remember, there are no television timeouts, so your big guns can't rest. You've got to play everybody. It'll be interesting to see how Jan Filch manages the Slovakian bench in the third period. Indeed it will be as uh, we're at 4,400 feet of altitude and the opposing team Latvia has four more skaters on which to call than Slovakia. We'll see if the difference in depth makes a critical difference as Latvia tries to come back in period three here at the E Center. For set. Critical third period coming up. Can the short benched Slovaks keep up the momentum? Can the Latvians counter punch yet again? One team will stay in contention to move on. Gary Thorne, John Davidson back with you in the last game when Slovaks lost to Germany 3 0. The fans were cheering, please score a goal. Well, they scored six of them here. Here's the scoring summary in that second period as they piled them up. 502, 537, and the power play goal, Viznoski, to make it 4 3. The Slovaks going on top, and then they just kind of ran it up. 5 3, 6 3, and then a very big goal at 1956. And it all happened after Rebar on the left came out as the starter, and Lassik came on. All those goals came for him. We are underway here in the third period. And for. The Slovaks, this is a must win game. They are in blue. They've got the two goal lead to start the third period. Latvia in white. They get the next one. It's going to be real interesting and had a chance on that one. Ozlinch on the near side boards. Ozlinch was able to hold that one in. Five on five here to start this third period. Taken by Kurse. Got it around the far side. Couldn't be held in. Krivosas will have to chase it down and that's going to be whistled. Injury update, Darren Pang. Darren. Thanks, Gary. Number 20 for Team Latvia, Haris Vitolic, will not return. I was told by a Latvian official that he has injured his right knee and will not return for this third period, fellas. Well, that really hurts. Man, a one-time drafted by the Montreal Canadiens. His dad played on the Latvian national team. Again, we mentioned Heart and Soul, who plays in Switzerland. Gone from the rest of this one. That's a real blow to Latvia. Pavel Dimitra had it on the far side. He'll have to chase it down again. Dimitra in blue, 38. Tried to clear it out. Latvia gets a chance on the intercept. Dimitra was able to tie his man up from behind. No shot ever got taken. Move back into the middle. Trailer. Petrovsky got it off. But Teshko shot. That was hit by a defenseman stick into the corner. And it'll roll back out to center. Good block by Scraston, who had left late in the first period, but has been back for the second and here in the third. Off to Dimitra, onside. Petrovsky cutting, couldn't get a tip as the save was made. Omas has been in net throughout the game, in white for Latvia. He has faced 24 shots, 24 16 the shots. Slovaks have the advantage. Drop back onto the point, had a chance there, Ignatiev. I love the way to the corner. I just love the way these guys pass the puck. It's wild, isn't it? I think, Gary, this may be the last time you'll see a team from the Soviet bloc that plays the old Soviet style of puck possession. Upright skaters, the extra two or three passes before the shots, not dumping the puck in and recovering. 
The, the best team we ever saw regarding that was the Soviet Red Army team with Igor Larionov, the centerman, and Fatisov, and all those guys. I don't think you're going to see another team along the way do this anymore. These are a lot of older players. It's fun to watch, but it may be the end of the line for that style of hockey. Older players who came up in the uh, Russian system, of course, because that's where they were playing before Latvia became independent. With the breakup of the Soviet Union, that's why this is only the second Olympics that Latvia has ever been in as a country. 1936 was the other one. Ignatius off the near side. Into the corner, Latvia. That next goal in this game is so vitally important. Save made in front. It is still loose. Clipped to the side wall. Semyonov held it in. Semyonov tried to dump it down that dasher. Intercepted and taken back in behind the net. Ignatius, number three, loves to hit people. Pinched to keep the play alive and through the body. Scratched it. Remember, we said block that last shot by Slovakia. He's gone to the locker room. That's the second time this game. He may be hurting. So he's out of there as well. Fondus has got a goal. We'll move it in. Fondus takes it into the corner. Ridden out of the play. Deflected out in front. Littner, the man who rode him off the play. Still loose at the side of the net. Boy, they're putting some hits on now. Fondus holds it in again as Latvia sending their defenseman down low to create some offense. And, and Latvia is giving it their best shot here. They're not just sitting back. They know the importance of this period down by two goals. You know, and with Latvia losing a sentiment and a defenseman, that almost evens up the manpower regarding the two teams. It was four lines for Latvia, three for Slovakia in this game. It's almost even now because of the units. Yeah, yeah, because of the injuries that have occurred in this game. Nishevez, who's got a goal, cleared it up. It'll be played back in behind the net. Yaroslav Opsu will wait there. Ozilinch has got three assists. Um, a lot of multi-point players, obviously, when you get ten goals scored in the game. Petrovsky's pass is offside for a whistle. 6-4. Slovakia leading. Pace has been up and down. A firehouse game. Well, the Slovaks, their coach, Filch, said that in their loss to Germany, they said the tactics that Germany used didn't surprise them. He said they didn't move their feet and they didn't force the other team to play their, the style the Slovaks wanted, mainly because Germany got the lead. But I think he's much happier with their style of play in this one. That bouncing puck ends upside of the net, centered off the defenseman's stick, and has to be covered. Got to make a save in your own player sometimes. I like going to see my grandpa. We do lots of stuff. Sometimes we just hang out. One day we were sitting there, and I said, Grandpa, don't you work? <laughs> <laughs> no load mutual funds from T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Well, we're back. Faceoff's going to be just inside uh, the white zone of Latvia. You know, I said to you during the commercial, I said, you know, these players don't yell at the referees much. You know what? You don't, as you said, they don't have time. Don't have time. When you've got 15 seconds to get ready for a faceoff, including a line change, you haven't got time to talk to anybody. Oh, you can't go over and have a strong opinion one way or the other for the man with the striped shirt. got to keep your mind on what you're doing, or yeah. you may cause your team to be shorthanded on the ice. Bondarev's cleared it up the far side for Latvia. Hosa held it in once, not twice. Stumple Littner is back to cover. Littner will take it back in behind the net. Veteran Littner gets a lot of ice time. Nashville, couple of years, number 41 in blue. Broken up. Latvia, they're creating some turnovers here, but they aren't getting chances off it so far. Semyonov dumps it behind the net. Semyonov's headed front, backhand chance. Score! He's an older player who plays in Sweden, and the story is he doesn't get old. His body never changes. It doesn't quit on him as he gets older. The brain kicked in here, and he was smart. He waited till the goaltender went down, bought some time by moving across, scores on the backhand, and we have a 6-5 hockey game with just over 15 minutes to go in the third. Unbelievable play here in what is supposed to be the preliminary round where the hockey's not supposed to be that good because the teams aren't supposed to be that even. Well, you better tell somebody because the teams playing in this preliminary round of the 2002 Olympics don't know that. 
We've got a 6-5 game, 445. Velasquez gets the goal, his first Olympic goal ever. It's, as you look at Lindstrom talking to his players, he's got to be just charged now. They're within one. Gary, the old Soviet style was the coach in front of the players against the boards. He just went to the front of his players and had some words with him. The old Victor Tikhonov style. Oh, and I don't think he was as nasty as Victor was. <laughs> Victor, the old crusty coach of the Soviet Union, used to bark at his guys. This coach doesn't, but he was in front of his players with his back to the ice, talking to them. Make sure you get the attention. Oh, yeah. Looking right in the it's eye. Face to face. Isn't That's it? right. Peter Smirk, Slovakia. Boy, are they finding it hard. Uh, Victor used to coach with a blue suit on and brown <laughs> shoes. And he used to bark at his guys, and they listened. Look at that long pass up ice. Intercepted Slovakia in blue, getting control. Good hit at center. Zippers on the left side. Nobody cutting to the net. Now we'll get some help. Shot off the defenseman again, covered up by Jan Lasik. And the defenseman we've mentioned has left twice. Grastic, number seven for Latvia, has now returned again. And look at Lidstrom work. You know, he coaches, he coached in Lillehammer to a bronze as he was coaching Finland to a bronze in the Olympics there in 94 95 he was coaching Finland to get this he's a Swede he went to Sweden won the world championships in Sweden as a Swede coaching the Finnish team yep, How's he, that a slot? that's a not slot? a whoa baby but he was smiling about the whole thing <laughs> He's a good guy. Anytime you can do that, and at the age of 61, one of the most experienced coaches in international play. 6:20 into the third period, it is a 6-5 game. Slovakia in blue must win this game to keep their hopes alive. And remember, they lost to Germany 3-0. Wow, it's Latvia opened up with a 4-2 win against Austria. Too many men on the ice, Slovakia. Wow. Too many men on the ice. Oh, Jan Filtz is looking over, and the referee called this, not the linesman. And he had his hand up of five digits and put his thumb up from the other side and said six. Six plus the goalie, seven. So. Even in international play, you can't yeah. do that. They had won the other night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the bench. And the referee. Was over on the left side. He made the call. That looked like it was awfully close. This is the second time in two games the Slovaks have taken a too many men on the ice penalty. Latvia made it to the Olympics by qualifying in the final tournament. And the qualifying tournament played in Austria. They were the last team to make it. And here they are looking to win their second game. The bench penalty at 634. Too many men on the ice. Latvia and White gets their fifth power play of the game. They have scored one power play goal. They get one here, and this game's going to be tied in the third period if they can do it. Skrastic working one of the points, had that deflected. He'll come out to get it. Hosa trying to break out shorthanded. Now Latvia's got to get on side. Skrastic dropped that one back off the near side boards. They are on side. Ooh, could have been a trip there. They're not called and cleared out the center. Latvia trying to get on side. Can't. Artesko moved it in. Shorthanded chance deflected. Lubos Bartesko with the opportunity. Yeah, Slovaks, if they get the puck shorthanded, they don't just fire it down. They bank it off the boards to a guy flying. And there's a dive as they try to get the shorthanded goal. Oof, bouncing puck gives a goaltender fits right there. Lasik will hang on. Kurtz, number 21, took a big time dive, tried to draw a penalty, and he's getting lectured at the blue line right now by the referee. Nice little conversation. That's a first conversation. We were just yeah. talking about that. Yeah. First time we've seen a player and a referee actually have a conversation. Well, just watch as he tries to draw a two-man advantage. A little wee tuck to the arm. Watch the feet go out. Sliding into second base. Safe. Hook slide. He's safe. Hook slide. A pretty good one. Pretty good hook slide. Yeah. Lucky he didn't get called. <laughs> For a sportsman like Conde. Yeah, he's lucky the umpire didn't say you're out. Yeah, that's right. 56 seconds left on this power play. Philadelphia wide open at a point. Score! Sure. This is a big, strong, physical defenseman who got everything into this shot. Catching glove side. We're 6-6. Oh, my. 
play power play goal here we go 6-6 six, six. with a reaction oh my they have come from three goals down to tie this up Thurmontsis four games played in the East Coast Hockey League for some of you who may remember the name he has just tied this game up at 6-6 six, six, 8-0-4 into the third period and Slovakia maybe thought this thing had been put away already I mean it's hard to believe after they suffered that three nothing loss to Germany but Slovakia now has got to come back and try and do it yet another time back down the middle on the chance empty net tied up loose in front part of a tried to take it little room at the other end Velasquez open Velasquez a shot hit the defenseman's leg Far side penalty of his dumped it near side Slovakia will come to get it. Ooh. Boy, I'll tell you, Latvia, they've got the fires burning right now. Moved to center by Kampus near side. Hosa. Hosa got around one defenseman. He's not going to get around two. There's a collision for you of Major League size. Penalty. Alexander's Kirsch with a hit. 6-6. Six, six. more Olympic hopefuls than any other company in the world. The Home Depot, proud sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team. Alexander's Kirsch elbowing on a check in the corner. Slovakia in this tie game will now go on the power play. Nine minutes into this third period, their fifth power play chance of the game. How much energy does... The Slovaks have a three line, five, three lines rotating. How much energy do they have? They're going to be tested in this third period. Viznoski dumped it to Hosa. Hosa Dimitra, Lintner, power play unit. Stumple's out there as well. Stumple heard from early, not since that first period. Lintner's chance will be held on to. Gary, we talked about Latvia. They've lost one forward. The defenseman that they lost has been back. The Slovak team is on the power play. Because of this elbow by Kurtz right there, up high on Hosa, caught him with the elbow and he's gone. And and, and the Slovak team, there's there's no TV timeouts, quick faceoffs. You don't have time to rest. Do they have the energy? Two for five on the power play shot that deflected wide. Vesnowski cutting in. Two for five. This is their fifth power play of the game. Blast save made to the near side. Now, Uman's able to kick that one out of there. Short-handed chance, no. They'll rag it back into the zone here and finally clear it out the center of Velasquez. Short-handed opportunity in a two-on-two. -two. Centered, blocked by Viznowski into the corner. Viznowski on Ozilic. Ozilic still short-handed, waiting for help. He got some. Down low. The man he passed to had gotten decked. Yeah, he, he tripped himself up, I think, more than anything else. Osa comes back the other way. Still 36 on the power play. Dimitra couldn't get it. Cleared right. by Latvia. That's all penalty kill with 30 seconds to go on the Slovak power play. How about number nine? Belovsky for Latvia. 38 years old. They say his body hasn't aged. He looks like he's 18 years old. And he's drawing a lot of ice time. Peter Smerich moves it in. Offsuit down the near side. Offsuit into the middle. His pass blocked. Still 14 left on the power play. Petrovski turning with it. Petrovski got knocked down. There's the table to clear it out the length of the ice. Five seconds left on the power play. Opsuit comes the other way with it. Two to go. Power play over. Dimitra dumped it into the middle. Backhander went behind the net. We're back to five on five. Dimitra on the near side. Leaves it. They got a Petrovsky set up in front. The pass got blocked. Cleared into the middle. Two D back though. Opsuit will pick it up on the near side. He comes to the red. We are midway through. More than midway in this third period. Petrovsky leaves it in behind the net. Dimitra. Dimitra hooked down. Still on the ice. Petrovsky moved up. It'll be cleared away. And this will be an icing call. What a finish. Day 15. Just 900 feet from the summit. Day 15. Where's he going? Oh, hey, guys. Just gonna mail my credit card payment. You mean you don't have a Capital One? No hassle card?
Want a choice of payment dates? Try Capital One's No Hassle Card. Plus, get the nation's lowest long-term fixed rates and no telemarketing. What's in your wallet? We are tied 6-6. There's the coach, Lidstrom. He has his back to the ice surface. You never see this in North America. He is facing his players. He has marched up and down the bench. Right now, he's talking to the defense. Earlier, he was at the other end towards center ice talking to his forwards. He's still got his back while play is underway to the ice. That can be dangerous. <laughs> On the far side, Ignatiev's cleared it up, not out. Stumble! Put that one high. Off the glass and all the way up the half boards near side. Blue line held in. Stumple can't get it on the stick for the chance, though, and it'll be wheeled out of the zone. Chevez got it out. Chevez lost it. That'll create an offside. He created the offside himself. Now, here's something just to think of. We're 6 6. Just over eight minutes to go. The Slovaks need a win. And anything else is not acceptable. They may have to pull their goaltender to try to get themselves the winning goal, even if it's tied late. There's no overtime. No. Each team gets a point for a tie, but a tie eliminates Slovakia, eliminates them. They must win this game. As Germany is 2-0 in the tournament with one game left, and that's against Latvia yep. tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? I think. Yes, <laughs> on Tuesday, actually. Let's check in with Darren Pang. Darren? Hey Gary, I just ran into Ziggy Palfrey downstairs in the hallway and he came in, uh, he fought a little bit of traffic here, was watching the game on TV and came in here for the third period. I said, I thought you were in L.A. He said, no, we got a private jet tomorrow morning that will take us back there to Los Angeles to continue his play with the L.A. Kings. How much does that hurt, huh? Having to watch. Played eight minutes, half a game that yesterday. Was the getting to come here to the Olympics, that was the deal made with Los Angeles. He'd only play in one game. Dimitra back on the ice, number 38, the right winger for Slovakia. He's had five shots, but none in the third. He had those two, two periods. This is where you're going to look for the big stars. Dimitra got it in by Teshko and he poke checked away back to center. Tremendous game here. There was a three goal advantage after four unanswered goals scored by Slovakia in the second period. Here. Comes Latvia to tie it up. Now Dimitra leaves it in the middle. Petrovski could not get to it. The last three goals have been scored here by Latvia, including one at 1956 of the second period. That was a very important goal to cut that lead to two and gave Latvia some fire to come into this third period. Peter Smirk chased it back. He's been teamed up. Yaroslav Opsut near side. They've been out there defensively. Latvia's got the legs in the third period. They the Slovak's legs aren't there. And if Latvia can get that odd man rush breakout with a long pass, they'll try and do it to get that lead. 13 15 into this third. So we were talking about they're hanging a man back along the blue line. Chevez tried to get it in, had it knocked away. One of ours tried the same, and it ends up in the seats. More to come. I grill. I, I grill. With, I grill with George. I grill with George. George. No, I grill with George. 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 Yo cocino con George. I grill with George too. The George Foreman Lean Mean Fat Reducing Grilling Machine is America's favorite grill and keeps on rolling with the new Wheel It and Grill It. Now you can grill with me anywhere. Just wheel it, then grill it. Ayevsky takes it back in uh, behind the net. Ivan Mayevsky, Slovakia. He just skated in and then came back out with it, dropped off. Mayevsky tied up from behind here. Sanders Hoslens 18 and White get a piece of him. Guy post number 30 on the ice for one of his very few shifts. He's been the extra player for the Slovaks. So they're finding somebody with energy for a shift. He now goes to the bench. Coaches love to do that. If they've got a guy who's been sitting, hasn't played very much, you figure you get him up there and he may have it. But that tells you that there's somebody there on their team that doesn't have it. Yep. That means the Slovaks fuel tank is running near empty. Here's Stumple. Hosa's in the middle with him. Hosa giving chase into the corner. Centered actually got a shot off. Held on to. The home house not giving up the rebound. Got a win if you're in blue. Five and a half minutes to go. It is 6-6. Six, six. Stumple on the ice. Latvia won yesterday but had a terrible game regarding face-offs. Now they're very important when they're in their zone. But look at the 38-year-old wins it. 
playing uh, maybe the game of his life. Fondos with it. Drops it back. Hosa was up in the check. Tried to get it off at center. Couldn't do it. Into the zone. Letner, Letner clears it right back out. This will be an icing call. Whistle and a faceoff. The, the German team is 2 0. They'd love a tie, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. They just love a tie. Latvia is still in it if they tie. It won't hurt them. But as we said, for the Slovaks, gone yeah. if they lose or tie. And we are down 1440 uh, into it here. 520 left to go in this third. There is no overtime. Shot save made just barely kicked into the corner. Lashik had some trouble with that one. Centering pass got blocked, picked up by Barteshko. Barteshko looking up ice. And uh, Dimitra Petrovsky both cutting and as a result an offside. We'll try that long bomb pass, but this team from Latvia ready for it. If this game ends up in a tie, though, that means that Germany could get away with a tie, right? Against Latvia. So that means Latvia would have to beat them if this ends up a tie. Latvia, Germany play on Tuesday. There you see the faceoff numbers. Slovaks 30, Latvia 25. Held up behind the net. Classic Switzerland. And the Slovaks were the two teams expected to advance rather easily out of this preliminary round. Neither finding it easy. Shot save made. Rebound deflected straight up in the air. Two big saves. Elmas comes up big. Bartetsko with the rebound and the backhand shot. Elmas oh. blocks that one. Bartetsko going into the corner. They keep that strong first line out there. Petrovsky in the corner. Pavel Dimitra trying to drop it back to him. Double team. Batted up into the air by Upsut. Up the near side to Wall. Upsut could not hold it in. Both teams changing up on the fly. This is a four on two opportunity right here for Latvia. Into the middle shot. Save made. Hit the bar and came out. Hit the post on the right side and deflected all the way to the near side boards. That would have been probably the nail that would have ended it right there. Into the corner. Pantelievas had gotten tied up as he's trying to get the backhand shot off. We'll keep an eye at the other end now. 16.06 left to go. You get down to that what? Two minutes, minute and a half, uh, one minute? Uh, yeah, around a minute, I would think. Hosa, save. Hosa reaching in for it. There was no rebound. No, no, Umas, had it. Yeah, he moved out this time, mate. Look at the smile. You got to love it. That was on the Hosa shot earlier. The Slovaks got caught deep. Now four on two against them. Fake shot pass. Quick shot here. Right goal post on the ice. Oh, was that close. Right goal post on the ice. Man. There's a lot of fake shots by this Latvian team. They get people to drop and then they hold the puck, go around. They need a squeegee now to take the snow away, I think, from around the goal net of the Latvian team. A shovel coming out. They're going to try to clear the snow away. It can work as an advantage for the goaltender. No, they're going all the way across the ice. They're along the near side wall. Now, the standings we're talking about two teams move out of. This round and on two different pools. This is pool A. We're looking at the goals for and goals against coming in. It's the goals for that matter. And there's the uh, little cleanup job over there on the far side. The goals have come fast and furious in this game. Latvia in white. They pumped on four consecutive goals. Slovakia did in that second period. Latvia had to battle back with three unanswered to tie it on that last one at 7.43. Now, the Slovaks have always been known as a team that has a wonderful set of forwards. But back in the goal net is where their problem is, and I think it's showing here. Faceoff is won back by Stumple, but back into his own end. He drew it right between the two defensemen on the blue line. Lentner coming back to get it. Near side boards held in. Latvia. Viznovsky in behind the net. He got taken off the play. Polovsky's, what a game he's played. Poked it back to the near side. Tipped into the middle. Slovakia, Hosa. Hosa just tried to drop that off. Velaskis again back. Elizander Velaskis. How old? 38. <laughs> and they say, you know, when you talk to Arthur Zerbe about his own team here, the Latvian team, he says he's like Igor Larionov, who centered one of the great lines in the history of the Soviet Union. Now playing in Detroit. He's over 40 years of age. A brilliant player. Will play the Olympics for the Russian team. Javier trying to put it away. Drop pass. Ozelinch into the middle. Knocked up into the air. Dimitra's already out at center. 
Dimitra being joined by Bartesco. Bartesco couldn't get a shot off. Hoselinch got back. Great back checking by Sanders Hoselinch. Smerich able to hold it in. 17 23 into this third period. Two on two, three on two. Latvia comes the other way. Slovakia needs a line change and they get a break with that puck to center. Petrovsky goes across ice to Dimitra. Dimitra the blast. Save made into the goaltender. Is there a call? No. Just a face off at center. With the incidental contact, I guess the referee blows the whistle. Says face off outside the zone. If you interfere with the goaltender or stand in yeah. the crease and it's not a penalty, you can still have the whistle blown and a draw to center. Wide ice pass by Petrovicki. There's the shot by Dimitra, and you see the goaltender there. Ooh, that was close to maybe even being a penalty. Kibansov went flying into the goaltender. Back into the middle. Artebe's got it. Slovakia, they have to win this. They're in blue. They're running out of time. We're at the uh, 2.02 mark left in this third period. Up the near side, deflected to center. And there's the announcement made. Less than two left. Viznowski's pass intercepted. He'll come right back to get it. Drove it out to center. This is where we watch the Slovaks goaltender to see whether or not he gets pulled. That's going to be whistled on the offside. I was watching the coaching staff. You're looking at Filtz. He's the head coach. They never even looked towards their goaltender. The goaltender now is slamming the stick. He wants the attention of the coaching staff. Say, hey, what are you going to tell me to do? When do you want me? Nobody's still looking at, looked him. at him. No, Stasny up there realizes that's a great hockey mind. They still have not given him a signal. They haven't even looked at him. They never and looked. he was banging the ice trying to get their attention. They never looked his way. Shot from center. He'll make the save. Uh, Ignatia. And, and Gary, quick face off. He's, he can't be out worrying about no. the coach. He's got to get back into the net. That'll be dumped in and bounced off the glove. Yaroslav Opsud with a shot from center. Taken back by Velovskis. They move into the middle. Latvia with it. We're closing in on the one minute to go in the period and now Slovakia has got to get control get their goaltender out of there they've got to win ties no good for him and there is no overtime that'll be whistled on the icing call and the faceoffs going to come back into the Slovak end. Well, let's see if they're calling a timeout at the Slovak bench. Now they've called the timeout the assistant coach has the clipboard out he's trying to draw up a plan he was talking to the head coach the goalie over there now. Gary, I'm not so sure they real. I don't know. I don't think they knew. I think they're shell shocked over there, JD. I really do. There are some wide eyes with not much expression in them on that bench. They can't That's believe what's happening. They have one minute, six seconds to try to win it. To stay and, alive. Yeah, exactly. And the, the team from Latvia, they would love to get a goal too and be 2 0 in this round. Well, we've had uh, upsets. With Germany beating the Slovaks 3 0, a major upset. And now the Latvian team that hasn't played in the Olympics since 1936 has got a chance to pick up their third point here. If it remains a tie or four points and tie Germany, if they can come away with a goal and a win. And he's going back in net, obviously, because the faceoffs to the left of uh, the Slovak goaltender stumble dropped it off Viznovsky with it one minute left to go third period Slovakia still in their own zone Hose has got it there goes their goaltender to the bench they'll get the extra skater outside offside on the charge yeah, Dimitra on the near side went offside credit the staff they realized their goaltender had to get to the bench he now will come back and probably stand up high towards the top of the circle since the face off is just outside the Latvian blue line. So the coaches did realize it. There's now 50 seconds to go. 6-6 six, six tie. A 6-3 lead that existed for the Slovaks in the second period has disappeared into a 6-6 six, six game. They get control. Littner sends it in. The goaltender heads to the bench. Now can't. He had to come back out. So he had to stay in. Lavi gets a two-on-one. Into the middle. Pope checked away. Heading to the bench, the netminder, Jan Lasek is out of there. Extra skater for Slovakia, 35 second shot. Save made on the deflection to the near side. Littner along the boards holds it in. Just dumped it in behind the net. Joseph Stumpel going over for Slovakia. Got tied up by Ozolinch. The two NHLers do battle. Ozolinch along the wall, able to kick it away. 
Spastich had it. He lost it. Into the corner. Petrovsky. Petrovsky leaves it. Dimitra looking. Everybody out in front of the net. Hosa trying to jam it home. Petrovsky trying to jam it from the front. Can't. Tied up. The goaltender pulled to Dominic Hasek. He let go of his goal stick with his right hand. And underneath that blocker, it's like a golfing glove. And he reached down with the glove where your fingers can move and he snared the puck and grabbed a hold of it with only six seconds left it'll be over to that side he'll just reach back snare the puck and grabs it as Latvia calls timeout six seconds left the home Ives, the 33 year old in net who's looked shaky at times <laughs> yep <laughs> but he's found a way here to hang in as his team has shut out the Slovaks in the third period his team was down 6-4, and they have scored two to tie. Wow. Masayevsky has had a couple of goals in this game. Also in four assists. Nevis is one and one. Cypress is two assists. Peter Stasny, who masterminded the idea of the Slovak strategy of getting NHLers in and out rather than going with a national team, could be out of this in another oh, six man. seconds. Wild. One man back for Schnobsky. Stumble Great job the on the draw. Off. Four seconds left. Hosa tries to center. There's nobody there. Slovakia is gone. Latvia has tied it at 6 6. And Latvia will play Germany. And they may have Arthur Zerbe in goal. What an amazing story in this first round. Latvia now. With a win and a tie, they still have a chance to control their destiny. They need a win against the surprise team from Germany. Slovakia will play, but it won't matter for them. And the team that came in of all the eight teams in the preliminary round, Slovakia was the one that everyone looked at and said they should be the best of the eight. They were the first to go. There's a guy by the name of Oljars Kalins, who was an ambassador to the United States for Latvia. He said having the Latvians in the Olympics is for them a symbol of winning the Cold War. And having them do what they're doing and have a chance to move on if they beat Germany, there's still that chance. Germany's in the driver's seat, but there's that chance. Arthur Zerbe comes back. The Latvians salute all the fans here. You know, the Latvian fans here, there's a restaurant in the area that's Latvian. They had this team over on Thursday night for dinner to, to get to know them and welcome to the Salt Lake City area, which is very friendly. There's Sanders Olsenlich. <laughs> he was everywhere, even on the ice at the end of the game as his team held on for the tie. And for, you're right, the Slovaks, a great group of people. Oh, absolutely. It's got to be so disappointing. Devastating. Even the president of Latvia was on hand for the first game. We're not sure if he was here for this one. Probably was to cheer his team on. So the Slovaks gone. Latvia, oh yeah, we're alive. Why? Because they've come away with a 6-6 six, six tie. Three points in the preliminary tournament now for Latvia. We're all watching the news of the day. And the news of the day is impacting our money. You turn on the TV. You want to hear what President Bush has to say. You want to hear what the Defense Secretary has to say. That is impacting traders, investors. It's making us make changes in our own portfolios. Because it doesn't need to happen in the world of business to make business news. CNBC. Business for the new world. Every day. Technology is part of Lake City, the spirit of the Olympic flame burning brightly in Riga, Latvia tonight after Latvia comes back with two goals in a dramatic third period to tie Slovakia and preserve its chance to go on into the championship round. Darren Pang standing by with Sandis Ozalinch of Latvia. Thank you very much, Jim. One of the most prolific offensive players in the National Hockey League. And now we're seeing that in the Olympics. It was uh, an entertaining game. I guess you realize now that you have eliminated Slovakia. Yeah, well, it was uh, definitely a high-scoring game. We came back from a three-goal deficit in the, 
in a, at the end of the second and, uh, and then the third period that uh, it was a very important tie for us. I wish we could have won, but uh, I guess we'll take whatever, whatever we got right now. Well, it still puts you in a pretty good position to advance. Yeah, well, next game is against Germany, and that game probably will decide who is, uh, who is worthy to play in the uh, final round of the Olympics. I like the way you guys play as a team. Uh, a lot of offense, a lot of transition, it looked like. Yeah, we had a lot of talented yeah. players from, uh, from uh, all over the Europe, and uh, they've been playing together for, uh, for a while now. For, uh, uh, most of the players played in, uh, still in the Soviet Union uh, League together, so uh, they know pretty, pretty well each other. Sandis, in the warm-up, it looked like you might have nudged that knee a little bit. I, I wasn't sure if you were going to be able to play, judging by the warm-up. You seemed okay. No, I was all right. Uh, just a little old injury. Yeah, tweaked it a little bit, but it's no big deal. A little tired, fatigue, a lot of travel? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. I'll, I'll be a lot more tired in a couple hours. Well, Sandis, thank you for joining us. Uh, wonderful your, for your small country of Latvia, and hopefully Artur Zerbe will be there the next one. Yeah, we, we really hope so. He's a big part of our team, and uh, it, would be, it would have been an unbelievable uh, success for us if we made it to the final round. Sure will be. Thanks a lot, partner. Thank you. Appreciate that. Jim?